Hey everyone, it's Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today I'm gonna do some journaling. So grab your journal or your scrapbook or your vodka soda and sit down and relax and have some fun. Uh, let's journal together. I'm going to do the monthly spread, uh, the monthly calendar, which I haven't done for a while. It's more like a highlight of the month. So I'm gonna do April's and then catch up on the last few days of journaling and we'll see where that takes us. Thanks guys. So if you've been with me from the beginning, you know I'm working in a Hobonichi A6. So this is obviously meant to be a planner. So the beginning has monthly spreads and I didn't know what to do with those, but I didn't want them to just be blank. So I decided to do um, little collages or, um, you know, put in pictures of me or my kids or my family, all of us together uh, to sort of capture uh, month by month our highlight or how things change. Or, and then at the end, I can see how we all, you know, grew older <laughs> over the year. <laughs> So obviously April, Florida was our highlight. So I had a lot of collage pieces that I pulled in, you know, ahead of time that were kind of vacation-y related. And so I just, it was a perfect time to grab those out. And then I printed out a sprocket photo of uh, my kids and I standing on the beach. And then I had more of these pictures. These are, I believe, all from Real Simple, possibly the shell and then this little piece of coral thing might be from uh, uh those <laughs> what fatty as soon as i start to record he finds his lungs um those might be from a different one maybe like a a breathe or you know one of those types but i'm not sure mostly real simple though i love that sunset over the water that was perfect we did have quite a few amazing sunsets I was so glad I kept that little piece of coral and that little pink shell. They're so cute. I just, you guys know, I love to collage. I just love it. I feel like it can just say sometimes even more than journaling can. It just can bring back the memory of a place and what you did and the feeling. So, I don't know. It's fun. And then I decided to get out my Jane Davenport brights palette and go to town add a little color on the edges and then we're flipping to Tuesday let me see what we did for Tuesday um since I just started back I'm doing I'm going to this gym in my town and you go in the mornings well they've got a ton of times but it's like a group workout they call it group personal training it's like um it's boot camp-esque but not quite like that um it's not quite so um like do it hardcore for this short amount of time kind of thing but um you know it's more about like just getting stronger and making a positive lifestyle changes and stuff so I've been focused on that because this was the first week that I started and I had this collage, these collage images for a long time and I just hadn't used them, but it said these were from Real Simple. The breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. That's from Rumi. And then it was by this picture of a, like an open window. And so I put that in my journal. I just love that. It's really hard. I am not a morning person, but this has been, it's been really good. And this, uh, that picture of the, the lady giving herself a thumbs up in the mirror, I was obsessed with that picture and I've held on to it for a long time. It was either from a flow or from a breathe magazine. But it's just that feeling of, you know, being proud of yourself and being proud of the person that you see when you look in the mirror. It doesn't matter what that person looks like, but, you know, it matters how you feel about that person. And when you're making good decisions for yourself, uh, you just feel, you feel good. You feel proud of yourself. So, um... I just love that picture. And then a couple other little workout pictures, like I said, that I've cut out from magazines that I liked. And and then I put uh, those words, those like gold foiled words, so worth it on the picture. Because like I said, I'm not a morning person, but it has been worth it. I've been going to the 7 a.m. class 
and I've really enjoyed it. I, I'm super productive instead of staying in bed, uh, you know, until the last possible second. It gets me up and moving and uh, encourages me to go to bed earlier, which is really good because I'm a night owl. So it, the whole thing has just been good. So I'm throwing in some watercolor. This is from the Jane Davenport Neutrals palette. I kind of wanted to pull out some of those like early morning sunset like um, oranges and kind of peachy colors, sand colors. I just love that. Um, and I just really love this spread because these last couple of days have really, um, I've been just thinking a lot about this new, like, you know, I don't know, just being the best that I can be. So that's what that spread is sort of about. And I, I really like it. Thursday, uh, that little picture of a little sleeping um, person, cartoon, and then the little girl stretching and getting out of bed, those were both from uh, Real Simple. And it just goes back to that going to bed earlier and then getting up earlier um, has a really positive effect on my mood, as hard as it is for me. I'm trying to develop that habit. And then I journaled about, uh, you know, what's happened the last couple days. And then put some stickers. A lot of them came from the American Crafts, the two sets that I have, the Paige Evans and then the Everyday Life one that I got at Tuesday morning for a steal of a deal. Uh, if you guys have a Tuesday morning, go check it out. Hopefully you'll find them. If not, I'll link them on Amazon, but they are more expensive from what I've seen there. And then I got out my little, uh, what are these called? They're so stinking cute. And I think I got them at the same time as that, um, the pig and cat ones. They're called Kyun Hong Happy Life Stickers. Uh, so funny. They're really cute. So I put in the little girl. I think it looks like she's jumping up and down, like, excited. And then the little, there's a little boy. And he's giving, like, a double thumbs up. And it just reminded me of Michael because he's been, like, really encouraging and supportive and you know I, I'm such a wishy-washy person like I either go 100 miles an hour and then I've been known to just you know stop and fall off a cliff but he never stopped supporting me so I really appreciate him for that um and then obviously it's only Thursday but this is kind of what I do when I journal when I know things that are happening in the couple you know, coming days, I'll stick in some stickers that kind of remind me about that or little things like that, like the science and art fair. And then I put in a little don't forget sticker that Michael and Henry are leaving to go um, visit grandma and grandpa this weekend because Addie and I are going on our Daisy um, camp out with her Daisy troop. So we're all going to be very busy this weekend. Uh, and I'm looking through my cat stickers and I found that one little cat, and it looks like he's, like, burrowed in a sleeping bag, kind of, <laughs> which kind of was funny to me and reminded me of um, camping out because we, you know, bring our sleeping bags, and we sleep in bunks, but we all bring our sleeping bags. And then it kind of looks like there's, like, water at his feet, which is appropriate because I think it's actually supposed to rain <laughs> all of Saturday and Sunday. So just pray for me. Picture me with 11 seven-year-old girls and find some room in your heart to pray for me. <laughs> and then I stuck in that cute little uh, clipboard sticker and then just wrote quick 26.2 for Michael because he's actually running a marathon on Saturday morning up uh, where he's from in Minnesota. Uh, just because he had to get a longer training run in and so um, it was perfect that the marathon was that weekend when they were going to be up there and his mom loves seeing him run and stuff so that was cool so he's doing that and for him that is quick because he's fast and like at this point like a marathon for him is like going around like jogging around the block like he's a ninja beast so um yeah he's just it was just like he was born to run he has like the legs of a gazelle like he could just run and run and run so um, I just made me laugh, like quick 26.2, no big deal. <laughs> uh, and then I'm writing Daisy Camp Out with my mild liners. I still love my mild liners, like so much. The love is true and it is real. 
Uh, and then sticking in more stickers from the American Crafts set, some like little daisies and butterflies, a coffee cup because Lord, Lord, give me coffee this weekend. Uh, and then a little best ever sticker. And those are the two American Crafts sticker books that I've been using a ton. So I wanted to show those to you. And then as always, my Delphonics pouch, which is a fave. Uh, I usually don't take it out of the cover, but for some reason I did today to work on it. So there's our April monthly spread. That was our highlight probably. Um, and then the last couple of days, I just like to make it colorful and kind of document the different memories. And while those two pages don't really have any writing, they definitely, like I said, capture a feeling and a, a moment uh, in time for me. So that's how I like to journal. And sticking things in advance helps me keep, uh, you know, on top of it. So I hope this was helpful and that you had fun. Thanks, guys. Bye.